The Iowa men's basketball team is heading to Indianapolis tomorrow to open play in the Big Ten Tournament. Let's toss it over to Jalen Socek standing by in the Daily Iowan TV Sports Studio with the latest news on men's hoops. Jalen? Thanks, Stefan. I'm Jalen Socek here at the Daily Iowan TV Sports Studio. A lot to get to tonight with both baseball and men's gymnastics on the way. But first, we're talking a little Hawkeye basketball who opened their Big Ten tournament play tomorrow night. Iowa enters the tournament as the number six seed where they will square off against number 11 seed Northwestern in a first round matchup. The Hawkeyes swept their two regular season meetings, winning both contests by 26 points. But head coach Fran McCaffrey believes his team won't overlook the Wildcats, especially with their recent defensive struggles. Let's start with the defense. Okay, it's transition, it's rebounding, it's on the ball, it's ball screen defense. Uh, it's help recovery, it's being in the gaps. I mean, all of those things, and we have drills, and whether it's two on two, three on three, four on four, five on five, and you know, kind of like the beginning of, of practice. And losing five of those by just 10 points or less, McCaffrey believes these past few practices helped them to adjust and prepare for the tournament. You know, I'm hopeful that, you know, since, since Saturday, you know, we've had a little more time. You know, we had a lot of short preps, a lot of traveling. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't think that's the only reason, but, you know, we, we, we were not, I think, as in sync as we were. And I'm hopeful that, you know, we've, we've been able to get, go back to some of the basic things that we needed to fix. While Iowa is preparing for the Northwestern Wildcats, the men's baseball team just finished their three-game series with the Kansas State Wildcats. Although Kansas State took a sweep of the Hawkeyes last weekend, Iowa still tops the Big Ten standings. A new coaching staff has fans praising them for the team's vast improvement, but a fully recovered junior Jake Yoxinich is just another reason behind the team's recent success. That 2013 baseball season was one of disappointment. Iowa, a team packed full of potential, only went 10-14 and 14 in conference play while struggling with several injuries in the lineup. But a new season came as did a new coaching staff and suddenly a rejuvenation in the program. Head coach Rick Heller and squad are off to their best start in years and it couldn't be possible without their shortstop and junior captain, Jake Yosinich. And I'm really pleased with, with how he's playing defense. He's been really consistent. Um, you know, He's one of our best hitters. He hits in the middle of the lineup. A uh, good clutch hitter, uh, can hit for, for average and for power, and he's also one of our fastest guys and one of our best base runners, I and mean, he's a really good player. But his success wasn't without struggle. His sophomore campaign was largely spent battling a back injury. Uh, he's been doing really well. Um, he's been healed 100%, uh, and that's been helping us a lot because last year he's been struggling. Um, you know, with the back, it was hard for him to bend over and field ground balls. Well, this year he's more smooth. Uh, he's swinging the bat really well right now, too, so that's huge. His health being reaffirmed with his numbers, this season he's batting at a .417, the team's second highest average, leads in hits, runs, and stolen bases. You know, when he's healthy, he, he's, he's one of the best players in the league. A good rehab program and just a little bit of time was all Yasinich needed. Um, pretty much in the summer, I just had to take it easy and just let na nature take its course. Jalen Sochek, Daily Iowa TV Sports. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for this evening. But before we head out, we have a special sneak peek from gymnastics beat reporter Jake Rossi's conversation with head coach J.D. Reeve. The following is just one part of a full series returning, running on the state of men's gymnastics in the pages of the Daily Iowa after the programming break. Have a look. How do you get an AD like, you want to add men's gymnastics? You know, these really great scholarships. You just want it because you want status. People have got to have enough people doing this work for you to go. Yeah. Or you'll fill a roster. No doubt. And you, you get money from it, too. People, mm -hmm. people want to yeah. do gymnastics. Yep. It's there. Yeah. I mean, I, I turn away at least three full rosters of the kids every year. More on Reeves sit down once again coming up after the programming break. But for now, it's back to you at the desk.